Hey guys, I'm recording this on the 29th, so don't complain that there's a Christmas tree in the background and it's probably going to be about the new year by the time this video goes up. But, um, let me ex quickly explain this video. So, I was playing Pokemon Masters and there was this whole debate between Cynthia and Lance being the best Dragon Man Master and then there was also Iris and the... Uh, oh, there was the other girl, I can't remember her name, from Generation 2. Um... It thrown into mix and everything, and that that got me thinking. Who is the strongest champion in all of the Pokemon games? So the basic criteria for this video is simple. M they must have been regarded as a champion in a generation, uh, either named as a, uh, either being called champion or beating a champion. Um, and this is uh, only for the games right now. Because it would be easier to do. Um, second criteria. They must have a canon team. Or at least something as close to canon as I can get. So uh, um, champions that, lie, that, all, that have um, the, the, that last starter that you and your opponent and your rival did not pick. I just got whatever I thought, I thought would work best for them. Um, so yeah, that uh, means the champions that we have are Lance, Red and Blue, uh, Stephen Wallace, Cynthia Alder, Iris, Diantha, Professor Kukui, because I'm going to technically count him here because he was the last battle you had to do in Sun and Moon, and I think also Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which basically, uh, which was basically the champion battle. So uh, he's an honorary champion uh, in this list. Although I did come very close to um, just not putting him on the list for um, the reason that he's not never actually been called champion Kukri, but he basically gives you the champion battle, so he's an honorary champion. And Leon. Um, so, um, hope. So, um, I've uh, I'm recording this before um, I've recorded any of the battles, so I don't know what's gonna uh, happen. But um, if for whatever reason we can get Leon's team to battle someone else's team because he has um, some uh, Gen Eight Pokemon uh, in Mister Mime Gala. Oh, I know that's supposed to be Mister Rhyme. Uh, I'll have to change that in a minute. And um, Rillaboom, uh, Abofa, and um, Dracobolt are all um, new Pokemon. Um, but, um, and there are some excluded Pokemon from Gen 8, so we might have to do a bit of um, fun with that, with like damage calculations and all that to, um, to see who would win. Um, if we can't get it to work in the normal showdown bit. Um, through some stuff. Anyway, um, but you may have noticed that does leave us with eleven, and this is the, and this is what has made me think the mo most about getting with a Kukri, because for this to work, you know, to start, we need an even a num amount of, uh, um, ca uh, champions because um. You know, they need to fight each other and then the winner moves on to the next round. So, what I'm going to do for this is just so y nobody can accuse me of favoritism. Random number generator. This will pick a random number between 1 and 11. So, 1 would be Lance, 2 would be Red, 3 would be Blue, 4 would be Lance, 5 would be Wallace, Six would uh, be Cynthia, seven would uh, be Alder, eight would be Iris, nine would be Diantha, ten would be Professor Kukri, and eleven would be the new guy that I've got his name in like five minutes. And whoever's whoever's number gets picked gets a free pass pass to the second round, and will be paired and will hopefully be paired up with somebody or. Um, I might just leave it as like a. F Actually, yeah, no. What I'll probably do is um, they'll be the final fight. So when everybody else has had their fight, 
They are the champion of champions fights. That's what I'll call it. They'll be the champion of champions fight. So, generate that random number. Number four. Number four. So, that will be Steven, I think. So, Lance, Red, Blue, Steven. Yeah, so Steven will be the champion of champions uh, battle. Which gives me... Which kind of ruins my plans a bit. Because I was going to organise it so... To be, for it to be a f bit thematic. So like Steven and Wallace would fight in the first round. And so would uh, Iris and Alder. Because um, Wallace, Steven left Wallace in charge of being champion. And the Alder got replaced by Iris in black and white too. Um, so I wanted to do that. But now I can only do that with Alder and Iris now. Oh well. That's, uh, um, so that means this, uh, Stephen Stone is the champion of champions and the one to beat. Um, and let's just quickly go over a couple of rules. No generation gimmicks. And by that I mean basically no Megas, no Z moves, and uh, no uh, G Max or Dynamax. Because. Then it basically turns this into who got a mega in uh, um, X and Y and all as because or who was basically featured in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because it just turns into a lot of gimmicks and if we did that it would basically be a battle between Cynthia and uh, um, Stephen Stone because Cynthia has Mega Garchomp. And Steven Stone has Mega uh, Metagross, canonically, so... Uh, and I don't know about... Yeah, I think in G-Max, uh, um, Charizard would just go down to a Stone Edge from Mega Garchomp. And Z-Moves, uh, really, they're not that good. Like they're, they're a one-time nuke, sure, but... They're survivable, but yeah, they don't they don't really tip the scales, and not many characters actually ever had a Z crystal in one of their Pokemon. Like, you should see some of the sets. So like, um, back in Generation Three, Steven Stone had Thunder and Solar Beam on the Nagron. What was that? Seriously, um. But yeah, I basically picked and choose some of their best Pokemon um, throughout all of their appearances in the video games. Um, but even then, with some characters like Lance, only two of his, three of his Pokemon have items. That's because uh, canonically only three of his Pokemon held items. That would be Dragonite with a Focus Sash, uh, Salamence with a Lumberry, and Hydreigon with a right hip. And yes, I did go through the entire all of their appearances from Gen from from the ve from their very first introdu introduction to now. And that I took the best bits of their uh, um of their teams. Um and I also try to keep it uh theme I try to theme it so like um, Lance has dragon types, um, Steven has steel types, but even then, Steven never canonically used six different steel types. So I had to put, so I put in uh, two rock types, because his uh, name is Steven Stone, rocks are stones, so I put in Archaeops with a sit and a Cradilly in his team. Um, and who is and there's not really anybody else I struggled with. Wallace had a lots of water types to work with because he was a water type gym leader. Cynthia, uh, I basically just used her black and white two um, appearance um, at, to build that team. Um, Alder was a little bit more hard to do because he didn't really have a theme. His first team had three bugs, but in but in I think just about every 
iteration of his team after that. The only bug he had was Volcarona, I think. Um, so I just got... Uh, I just used some good Generation 5 Pokemon that he had, uh, which was Volcarona, Conkeldor, Renucleus, Cro Crocodile, Chandelure, and Bufalant. And uh, I... And the... Uh, oh, now my food is done. Go, go, do that quickly. Yes, why does that pop up? And I know uh, um, Alder has uh, used... I didn't really use Buffalant a lot. I think he only made one battle appearance, um, maybe one or two, and he doesn't even have an item. But um, Max, um, which is uh, um, somebody who loves Gen 5, said that Buffalant is an absolute must for Alder, and I have to agree with him. So I put, he also said Volcarona was an absolute must, and again, I agree. That, so I put so, uh, Volcarona and Bufalant were always planned to be on Alder's team. Uh, Diantha, Kukri and Leon were super easy because they've made so few appearances that they basically only had one team. I think Leon had the most Pokemon to choose out of them because he appeared in the um, Battle Tower. So, uh, he has some... I've, I've picked some unique Pokemon that, you, that um, you didn't always get to see him use. Um, mainly because there is Battle Tower Pokemon and they have items, uh, but also because, um, you know, I thought it might be a bit fun to go with the more slightly obscure Pokemon he's used, um, but he didn't really have any theme at all, which is, which I, I had, with the last three, four, uh, three, with, yeah, basically just the last free um, generations not really having a typing just like Cynthia um, I like but unlike Cynthia they don't have a theme Cynthia's theme was that her Pokemon were always iconic of the generation even Milotic Milotic was a really good Pokemon in generation 4 so it came it kind of became iconic of the OUT it was one of those bulky waters um, but Diantha, Kukri, and Leon don't really have a theme. Diantha uses a lot of new Pokemon in Halucha, um, Tyrantrum, Aurorus, Gorgeist, and Gudra. Um, and I guess you could say Gardevoir because it do, it did Mega Revolve and again no Megas or anything because uh, that's just basically who has the best gimmick. Um, but Kukri, it, he has a Lightning Rock. Uh, Ninetales, Alolan, Braviary, Magnazone, Snorlax, and Incineroar. No real theming there, and again, the same with Leon with Aegislash, um, Dragapult, uh, Rhyperia, Charizard, Mr. Rhyme, and uh, Rillaboom. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be... Uh, that's everything that I want to... Uh, uh, say before this video started enjoy the video and I will see you guys Well, you'll see me in about five seconds, but I'll <laughs> I'll see you guys when I start recording the actual battles Bye bye Right so I was thinking instead of Steven being uh, taken straight to, to the finals because we uh, Because uh, without Steven there's ten fight. There's ten champions Excuse me and those ten chat and the uh, eight of them would go here, and then this would be the tenth one. And I thought it wouldn't really be fair for one of the champions to get through for free, and then another one to only have to battle once. Um, so what I'm thinking here is put Steven here against the winner of this one. That means um, that you know it's not it's ba it basically means two people don't get through for almost nothing. Um, because. Uh, say that um, this champion here, they'd have to battle once, twice, and then a third time to uh, um, get to the semi-finals and then have a chance of winning. Um, and I think this is just going to make it a bit easy. Uh, you know, not so easy just for like somebody random to get through. Um, also, what I'm thinking here is... Um, maybe trying... Also, what I'm going to try and do... Um, with 
um, what's his name? Uh, the guy. Hold on, I should have it down on here. With Leon, is try and pair him up with another um, champion that has uh, Pokemon that are available in uh, completely in um, Sword and Shield. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of um, going through, just like okay, these are, are you know these teams are possible in Sword and Shield. These aren't. So we're gonna try and they keep them as far away from the teams that aren't available in Sword and Shield um, and closest to the ones that are available in Sword and Shield as possible. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Um, so yeah. This will start. This turned out to be a bit more of a project than um, I initially in, intended. Mind you, it wasn't even twenty twenty yet before I uh, thought for this, and now it's twenty twenty, and it's the start of the second month, or uh, well, fourth day of the second month. Oh wow, it's only the fourth day, and I haven't got any videos properly pre-recorded, and I'm only planning this out. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I got to get this done. Also, I'm just going to say this quickly before I get comments. I was just looking at Showdown, and it does do Gen 8 National Decks, which will allow every Pokemon, so... Yay. Anyway, that makes this a lot more simple. Back to me planning this. Um, uh, I finally, we're finally getting around to recording this video, and this, and because it's Saturday, it's going up, up today. Um, hopefully, if we can get it finished today. Um, and I've got Max here to help me with it. Hello. And you've already been told the, the premise pretty much um, because I uh, recorded like uh, me explaining the basic premise of this like um, before the new year and my Christmas tree was still up in the in the background in the, the beginning of that video but nah it's not in the back, up in the background anymore. It, uh, that's been put away months ago. Well month. Uh, I put it away uh, at the turn of the new year. Um, so yeah, we've got um, the uh, teams. Now Max did have to change up a couple of his because um, a couple of them had one hit KO moves which are illegal apparently in um, Gen 8 National Decks. Um, mean and, double team. and double team. So uh, his teams are a little bit changed. Um, so yeah. Oh, I need to log in. There we go. Um, so yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia versus Lance. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, that's a bit loud. There we go. I'm go I'm gonna need to zoom out a little bit because this is a little bit too far zoomed in. There we go. Right, I'm gonna start the timer and I'm gonna lead. I think that even still this is a bit loud. There we go. So. Ah. It's a special attacking. What? Did he have a, 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 a lumberry? Yes, it did. Huh. Just goes to show um, how much I remember I this. I, just, I don't know, I pressed the Ah, oh, goddammit. Hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the risky play. Oh! Okay! <laughs> 
coming down. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ah, mm. oh, you're into Dragonite. Ah, oh, ha, ha. You underestimate the strength of a Glaceon! Um, I don't think... Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ha, ha. Well, we both lose one here. Yeah. Um... Oh, I should have gone with my original thing. Oh well. Oh wow, that really did not do that much. Come on, oh, oh yes. Damn it! <laughs> Flinch kiss for the wi for the win. You want to know something funny? What? Because uh, um, this is Cynthia's set and this came out before um, Generation 6, it has no fairy stab moves. No, which is very good. But it does have Aura Sphere. Oh my god, what? Yeah, Dogekiss is quite bulky as well. Like, it's not the bulkiest thing around, but it is hard to uh, take out sometimes. Oh, yeah. Especially when it's flinching you half the time. Oh no, my attack has been lowered! Oh, and you're asleep. Well, yeah, because I rested up. Yeah, I forgot about that. What? What? That's what it, I'm sure I should have woken up there. Nah, sleep um, resets when you switch out. So that's why I was surprised when you switched out. I was like, oh, I, I would have thought he would have stayed in and uh, um, hoped to, to have uh, woken up before I could finish him off. 4% ad flinch. <laughs> oh. And I'm, all, I'm always back to full HP as well. That's literally the only move I could use against you. Yeah. And that's only due to the fairy type. That's not exactly a fair match of fear. <laughs> uh. Garchomp has no moves against this thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. uh. Literally the only reason why I put these two up against each other is because they brought it up in Pokemon Masters, so I'm going to answer it. Cynthia wins. <laughs> Cynthia OP. I mean, that's incredibly wrong, but, you know. Uh. So yeah, got the internet sorted out, so Max just needs to send me a battle request again. And this one is, this time it's older versus Iris. And change to older. Accept. Who do you think's gonna win out of older and Iris? Ah, uh, I don't know. Mm. Because you don't see either of them that much, so I'm not yeah. sure how like, good either of their teams are. Mm. 
I had Keops could be devastating if you use it correctly. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Huh. Yeah. I didn't think I had Mark Punch. Yeah. All the. Uh, well, sometimes I rag on him a bit for being kind of. Oh, uh, wait, I need to sit down now. Thanks for that. God damn it, uh, intimidate. Um, uh, sometimes I rag on Alder for being a bit um, lame, but. To be honest, he's not. He does have some cool movesets. I'm not a huge fan of this Salamence either. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, does Dragon resist fire? Yes. Shit! I walked myself into a fire type move. Um, hmm. That did more damage than I thought it would. Yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how much I thought it would do to start with. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna... uh, that's probably because of sheer force. Ah, uh, yeah. Why did you use Focus Blast? Why out of a... Why, you use a less accurate move and yours hit. I use a more accurate move and mine misses. Pokemon everybody! I did less than I thought it would. I did less than I thought it would. Hmm. Yeah, Chandler is quite uh, fragile. But it did what I needed it to do. And a little bit more. Oh, you're sturdy! And I buy minus two survive. All the wins! Wait, oh! Is, is Bob then? Yeah! Ha, you missed! Oh, come on! That means I'm gonna that have to. Fire. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to send you Alders, Seb, because you're gonna have to go up against Cynthia. This is a lot closer than I thought it would, would have been. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alder is stronger than Iris. But only very slightly. Yeah, just barely. Now this now if anyone's gonna be even, it's gonna be D2. Oh yeah. That's a straight 
Yoda looks like you should be defeating. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna YOLO this. Could have been worse, could have sent out Jolteon. I don't usually run this move because I'm always afraid it's gonna miss. Oh my god, I just one shot your Pikachu. Oh, to be fair, he was in that monkey. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes! Is that how much accuracy in the range? I don't think so! It has 80% accuracy, I don't know. Oh wow, yeah, ice does resist to our, oh wow. That's still good, I took out two Pokemon with it. Well, yeah. Oh, I wasn't oh, no, anticipating you, you switching out into um, Charizard. Why did you use fight? Because I knew you were switching into executor. Well, the only reason it had bite in the first place was because it was special in the Gen 1s, 2 and 3. Yes, but I got some silver power drop, didn't I? The tiniest bit. I still predicted it to switch into executor. Yeah, but it's not like he did anything with that uh, prediction. Hmm. You are a madman. I don't remember. Oh, I was going to go for Stone Edge as well, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> Ah, god damn it. I thought uh, you d would have predicted that because I tried to do that uh, earlier on as well. I didn't realise that the tower is ever that slow. Oh, Aerodactyl is actually quite fast. It has 359 speed. Well, yeah. And apparently I'm uh, uh, choice banded. No, the Snorlax got to keep on. Yeah. Um. So yeah, blue is better than red. <laughs> Not surprised. Far track. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you do it. Just for then. Um. So Kukri. So Diantha. Um. She doesn't have a great team. Yeah, neither does Kukri because they only have, uh, um, they were, they only have, you only really battle them in the champion battle, like that, in the battle that makes you a champion. So, yeah. Oh wow, you get muddy water. Oh, I shouldn't be too spider, oh yeah. I didn't use this fire, I forgot. Uh, Dragon Brigade sort of starter types in electric. 
Uh, even. Three switching for me. Oh, what? I might have speed now that you're paralyzed. Not really I can much I can do. Um, yes, I predicted the switch. Well, no, I didn't. That doesn't sound like you predicted the switch much at all. Well no, I have blizzard if I if I didn't predict the switch, then I will use the blizzard. There's still not much I can do. I can just spam the doesn't and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm paralyzed. Oh, Thunder Mist. Finally, Jesus. I don't like this normal set. It has, it has refrigerate, but no normal moves take advantage of it. That's what she used. I know, it's just it's not great. Yeah. Wait, I think my team's even worse. Uh, and of course I'm paralyzed. Stone Edge misses. Like you can land like five fun thunders in a row, but I can't land one Stone Edge. Yeah, he not really anymore. Mm. I think Magma is probably the best Pokemon on this team. Well, yeah. And of course that misses! Oh no, I'm a ghost type. And the whole Ultra is still quite good. What? Did you really have nothing else but Poison Jab to use there? Yeah. But these, I have yeah, these. Oh, I haven't even had this one here. So I don't know if they've even been able to hear me most of this time. I know they've definitely been able to hear you because. Um, you've got, you're being recorded with the desktop audio, but I don't know about me, so they probably haven't even been able to hear me this entire time. I am a dumbass. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, these two are surprisingly, um, well, you know, even. I think that crit mattered there, because... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to give you like half of my... Uh, uh, half of the ones I use. So now it's um, Leon versus Wallace. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, Mm. <laughs> Why did he have to run a special set? Who won special age of slash? I mean, to be fair, they have the same pack and special attack. Yeah, but the you it doesn't get nasty probably like King Shield, Sword Stance, Flash Cannon, and Sacred Sword. You know, not much can stand up to that. It's just like, it's not that special is bad, but it's just so inferior to the physical set that you might as well not bother. I don't know. I only have one glass type removed, by the way, and that's uh, Leech Seed. You don't even have, like, drum beating. No, I have Sword Stance, Protect, Drain Punch, and Leech Seed. Wow. Fuck me, Leon. Get good, bitch. Seriously. Uh, and down goes Tentacruel. I think I should start winning Hydro Pump more in like doubles rain teams. And uh, Swift Swim. I'm oh, safe. Now we're going with Skull. The Thousand Miles of Ricola. Mr. Rhyme! Come on! Here we go. Hey, Lord. Hmm. I did less than I thought it would. I didn't, though. Hmm. 
That's mildly annoying. Oh, you used rest. Why? Uh, Marvel scale. Yeah, but Lee Seed is going to take you out of Marvel scale. Now, and of course, you burn me. <laughs> this is going to be really stally. Yep. You get scold twice. I, I wish you didn't. <laughs> what, what, what other move do you want other than scold? Sleep talk sc sc again! Scold! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Rest. Oh god damn it! <laughs> oh, seriously! Uh, I see where. Uh, okay. Oh god. Icy wind, twice in a row, but Milo Tick goes down, finally, Jeez. Blizzard <laughs> missed. Uh, I'm <laughs> Blizzard missed again! What is this accuracy, man? What? Oh, my Jesus Christ. Hyper Beam. This Gyarados is awful. Yeah. Because this is a Gen 3 Gyarados. Yeah. Oh, I got a dragon dance. Yeah, but the thing is, it doesn't really help me much because all of my earthquake that's physical. Uh. Because hyper beam on physical in Gen Three. Mm. That's why it's not there. Yeah. Down goes Gyarados. I wish that I had a attacking grass type move. And again, the only reason is this cash. Actually, no, this physical section is probably from Gen 5. Yeah. Yeah, because water was special in Gen 2, 3, and 4. Uh, 2 and 3. And 1. Well, 3, because it wasn't in 3. Or yeah, well, well, water type was. Yeah. Anyway, so that means Leon goes on to face Steven. So we're gonna, we'll be right back when we sorted out the teams. I already have Steven, so that doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, hold on.
So what? What's the first one? It's Cynthia versus Older. Mm -hmm. Who do you think's gonna win? Yeah, but I think Cynthia has a better overall team. Of course, you switched out. I mean, it's not a bad idea switching out because I did have a super effective hit on my nucleus. But I just one shot Crocodile. Oh, it was. Yeah, that did just really come down to who outsped who. Yeah, not your close combat, this is. Yeah. I would have thought you switched out. Oh, wow, I thought it was taking three outrages to knock you out based off that first hit. Yeah. That was to be expected. But now Togekiss pretty much takes out the entire your the rest of your team. Wow, Buffalant is bulky. Guys. Since when did Buffalant do much? Oh my! Come on! Come on, gay! <laughs> What? Yeah, but got a really high attack side. Yeah, really but know. no, I missed. If I hadn't missed, I would have. Uh, um, if I didn't miss, I would have, uh, you know, taken you out, and then it just uh, finished Velcarona off. Yes! Get predicted. No, oh, oh no. Hey! I, I, I didn't press psychic! Yes, you did. No, I pressed heat wave. The game disagrees. I pressed heat wave. <laughs> the game disagrees.
Yeah, damn it. So you you're just gonna spam quiver dance now. Well, the fact that I know you're out of circle punches, but you know. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if I can go for a triple. Oh, God damn it. No. I really had nothing to. I, there really was nothing I could do because. I just. It's. Oh! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> see if he wins. Only because I missed. Yeah, and it. Uh, yeah, but the only reason Togekiss went down is because I missed with Air Slash. If Togekiss didn't go down, then Volcarona would have had no chance against Togekiss. So it's fair that way because you missed and had lost a Pokemon and I missed and lost a Pokemon. Um, so yeah, now it's Blue versus Kukri. Uh, poor Kukri. This is just gonna be like, yeah. There's not really anything. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Okay. Oh come on. <laughs> oh of course. Why would you switch out a frozen Pokemon? Because you survived on five HP. It was actually fourteen, but you know, that's just five percent of my health. Yeah, well, five, yeah, you know what I mean Ah. This might pose a problem. Eh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, oh, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this does. Enough to one shot. Of course. Yeah, I knew you'd switch out, so I just decided to get as much damage in as I could. Is it happening because of fight ability? Yes! And you missed! Uh. Oh, yes! I called your bluff! Yeah. I mean, his only good Pokemon is Magnazone. Um. So yeah, now it's um, 
Steven versus um, Leon. Leon, yeah. I forgot his name for a minute then. Leon. Right, so... Oh god damn it, Leon. Why? What? Even why? Why would you have that on Archie or Blizzard or something else? What? You have head smash on Archie or Blizzard or Stone Edge. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean, at least they have acrobatics, but Jesus Christ. God damn it, Steven, stop being so shit. Oh. Right. Also, fire pleasure as like a massive description. Fire Pledge is so shit! You have 2% HP. If you do get a quiz, and it somehow survived. Yeah, this one's out anyway. So I knew that anyway. Yeah. I just want to know why the hell you're running a physical Mr. Ride. He's a bad man. Mr. Ryan should never be physical, not with that special attack star. No. Man, he's also running a special Aegis Slash. He is high. Yeah, but it's just the infer inferior to physical. Huh. You don't really illegal Rillaboom. Yeah. The one with Brassy Surge. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Leon is better than Steven, apparently. So now. Yeah, so now it's Cynthia versus Blue to, to then go up against uh, Leon. Ah. <sighs> Who do you think's gonna win, Max? Mm, I don't know. 
Probably the one that flitches you into oblivion. But my biggest fear is that um, Blastoise. Why Ice Fang? Because it's the best. It was the physical move that was super effective against Bruce Wade. Don't you have an Air Slash? No. It doesn't get Air Slash, and that's special anyway. Air Cutter? Again, special. Don't you have any physical flying time moves? No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Damn it, it's one Oh yes! I predicted the switch was trying to start. <laughs> Did you think I was gonna go with the Toga Kiss? No, I thought you were gonna go with something that wasn't that just anything but that. Why would I go into anything but Garchomp? Because you could have stalled me with Spiritomb, okay? Yeah, but it, Willow Wisp doesn't affect fire types. Pain Spit still works. Yeah, but that's uh, uh, too risky. Huh. Oh wow. Okay. Didn't think that would one shot. No, not at all. Really, Shadow Ball. I don't have anything else. I'll, I would have thought you would have switched into Execute or. Well, no, because again, I just one shot Alakazam with Sucker Punch. I thought you would have at least tried and stall me out. Oh, what? You just used Leech Seed again. Yeah, because I knew we were going to suck a punch. Okay, fair point. Yeah. I knew you were going to go for that. Oh, yes! Get, that, get out predicted! Oh, Garchomp just ripped that team apart. Mm -hmm. So, do you have Steven? Yeah, you do. No, you need no, Leon. Leon, you need him. So, yeah, we'll be right back with the final battle. Refresh and I can't challenge you now. Hold on. I'll challenge you. Challenge National Dex Cynthia against Leon. <laughs> the final yeah. battle to see who. Oh, I chose Leon! What the f. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have I to forfeit. Leon. Yeah. Just forfeit. Yeah, you challenge me this time and then pick Leon. Well, apparently you did 
the same thing as it did before. It didn't copy Leon, even though I copied Leon. Uh, of course. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Uh, I I got distracted. Except. Start timer. Right, Leon's team. I don't really have anything that does super well against any all of them. Of course. You Oh. What you might go for that. Ah, I was having fun then. It just really is the just Mr. Ron. Yeah. Ah, oh, God damn it! <laughs> he only sees him in the group, Mr. Ryan. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I expected that Dragon Ball not exactly very big key. Yeah. Don't know why you went for Sucker Punch, though. Yikes. Oh shit, you have weakness policy. You used this already, you know. No, I forgot, you never hit me with a fit with a um, super effective move. That's because I didn't have any. You just gave up that power boost. There wasn't anything I could do. Yes, there was. It's a flying fairy. Use a, sh a ghost type move. Or was it normal fairy? Yeah, flying fairy. Or well, fairy flying. Yes, but I was expecting a shadow ball which would one shot me.
Oh god damn it, I was expecting a, a, a Aegislash. Slash. No. Why do you use Air Slash? Because it's stronger than Fire Flesh. Okay. Oh, I was expecting you to switch for a second then. I used to spirit in there. Oh, fake out. Nice shot. Boom. Leon really needs to sort of run out. Yeah. Get out predicted. Oh, double protect. Okay, it's just de delaying the inevitable. Uh, I couldn't go for a third one. I do believe it is possible to get a third one, but very unlikely. And Willaboon just gets one shot. Cynthia is the strongest champion ever, canonically. It also comes down to our skill in battling. I'm not a very good battler. Yeah, but... You're not... If you... Our skills yeah. aren't that different. Like, it's not like I'm... A lot better than you. You and me are approximately the same. No, we're not. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm a little bit better, but I'm not uh, like massively better than you. I'm atrocious at competitive battling. Yeah, well, you didn't have to build the teams. All you had to do was like, okay, just super effective hit, or just like switch out, or just like whatever. Yeah, but I couldn't have determined when to switch out. Yeah. Anyway, that is uh, um. Well, I wouldn't say definitively um the strongest uh, champion because um eventually these cha each champion is gonna make a return in another game and they have new Pokemon with new sets and new items. Um. So as of now, this is this uh, is uh, probably. Uh, um, you know, as accurate as you can get to who is the strongest champion using canonical moves and items. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.